When the Fed lowered interest rates last year, everyone knew that inflation was coming. But the Fed told us not to worry because inflation is just a bit higher than 2.4%. But if we look at what's going on, we can see that prices have gone up a lot since then. I don't just mean the prices of houses, stocks, and other assets. I also mean consumer prices. Inflation in the US has jumped to its highest level since 2008. This is because the economy is getting better after the pandemic, which means more people are getting jobs and spending more than ever. In May, consumer prices rose at an annual rate of 5%, higher than the 4.2% rate in April and the highest rate since August of 2008. Most people are losing money because of inflation. But surprisingly, some people are making money because of this. Really? Is there a way to make money off of this inflation? Yes! You heard that right. And in this video, we'll take you to the 5 ways rich people make money with inflation. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our video updates. Plus, it helps us spread the Thrive Wise love to help more people thrive wisely. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Debt Wait, debt is a bad thing, right? Many of you might not like debt very much, but it can be a very good thing, especially when inflation is high. Here's an example. Today, the median price of a house is around $350,000. 20 years ago, it was around $150,000, which is less than half of what it is now. Because the real value of the dollar goes down every year, the same $150,000 today are already worth $350,000. So when the Fed lowered interest rates and started buying corporate bonds, guess who started borrowing all that money? Even though these companies don't need the money at all, it goes to the biggest companies in the world like Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, and so on. Apple has a pile of cash that is worth more than $200 billion. But it still borrowed money because here's the thing. Why use your own money when you can put it in the SP500 and get a return of at least 10% and only pay 1% to borrow money? Even if you invest that borrow money in your business and get a return of 5% on it, you are still making a 4% profit. On top of that, you get all of these tax breaks when you borrow money. So you will save a lot of money on taxes as well. If interest rates are lower than inflation, then you should be able to make more than what you borrowed. Number 2. Hold Real Assets Most people don't realize that currency is just like any other good on the market with a price that is set by demand and supply. Among other things, imagine this. There are $10 in the whole economy and 10 houses. In this made-up example, the price of a single house is $1. But if we put an extra $10 into this market, there will be $20 but still only 10 houses. This will raise the prices of houses so that each one will cost $2. That makes inflation easy to understand. When the economy was about to fall apart last year, the Fed decided to pump trillions of dollars into the economy to stop depression. This is where one or more economies go down and stay down for a long time. They did this by giving out stimulus checks and buying corporate bonds. 22% of the US dollars that are in circulation right now were made in 2020. Anyone who knows the basics of economics knows that inflation is coming. That's why back then, Anyone who could afford a house put their money into real estate instead of cash, especially since interest rates were at their lowest. No matter if the real rate of inflation is 2.4 or 3.4, it doesn't matter because house prices went up by 15 to 18 to 20 percent. Depending on who you ask, this means that investors in real estate not only beat inflation but also made a lot of money. But the smartest investor didn't just buy a house. He or she also took out mortgages. This is because leverage makes good deals even better, and interest rates were at an all-time low at the time. Number 3. Gold Gold is different from other assets because it has always been the one that keeps money safe, especially in times of trouble. Here's how it works. When the future looks uncertain, gold prices go up. Because of the 2008 crash, Gold prices rose from around $600 to $1,000 in 2007. When investors got scared, they bought gold right away. Gold won't lose its value or become worthless as the US dollar might. In the last 100 years, 
the U.S. dollar has lost more than 90% of its value, but gold has kept its worth since the beginning of civilization. In 2010, investors got scared again and started buying gold so quickly that prices hit a record high of $1,900 per ounce. Since then, though the economy has gotten better and the gold bubble has burst, when it looks like the economy is going to grow, investors don't usually buy gold and instead put their money into stocks and other assets. Because of this, gold prices tend to go down when things are stable and can be planned for. But in 2019, when the US started a trade war with China, gold prices started going up again, and the pandemic made it worse. The price of gold went over $2,000 for the first time. If you look at history, you'll see that gold has always been a great way to profit from inflation. In 1973, one US dollar was a lot of money, but now it barely buys you candy. On the other hand, the price of gold has gone from about $100 in 1973 to $1,800 today. But I'm not a big fan of gold because it's a passive asset. It just sits there and shines while stocks and real estate produces something like rental income. It's an active asset that actually provides a service or a product. Well, I'm not saying that gold is a bad thing, but you can consider this method only if you have something that generates active income. And we're halfway done through the video, so I would like you to do something for me. Pause this video right now and do me a huge favor by hitting the subscribe if you're new to the channel. We would also appreciate it if you leave a small comment about how this video speaks to you so far. Also, please hit that small like button if you see this video as interesting. And going back. Number 4. Crypto I wasn't sure if it should be on this list but I had to talk about it because a lot of people have made money from inflation by buying crypto, which is very risky. It has great potential and great technology behind it but because it's still in its early stages, it's very risky and hard to predict in the short term. As we've talked about before, the Fed's decision to print trillions of dollars is also one of the reasons why Bitcoin's price went up so much in the last year. When investors bought stocks and houses, they thought Bitcoin is like digital gold. So let's also buy Bitcoin. A lot of people who didn't care about Bitcoin before the pandemic don't remember that it was only worth about $8,000 at the time. Before the trade war, the price of a Bitcoin was only $3,600. If you were interested in Bitcoin when most people weren't, you could have made a lot of money, and since the smartest people got in before everyone else, they have grown their wealth by 10 to 20 times more. Number 5. Stocks This is the best choice for me. Even though stock prices haven't gone up by a few thousand percent like crypto, they are much more stable and less risky. The SP500 grew by 40% from July 2020 to July 2021. That's a huge return, especially when you consider that you're investing in the whole US economy. When you buy a stock, you buy a piece of a company. They are also called shares because of this. When there is too much cash in the economy, the value of that business goes up. This means that you and inflation both go up. On top of that, that money is usually spent on basic needs and wants. This means that businesses grow faster, so you don't just beat inflation, you actually profit from it. Just think for a second about how much of those stimulus checks went to Amazon or Apple. If you also take into account the fact that these companies have borrowed billions of dollars for almost nothing and growed by a huge amount, you can see that their growth is exponential. And now that people are going back to work, the economy is getting better, People are spending more, and these businesses are about to grow even faster. The key is to keep your money in assets that protect you from inflation. Most wealthy people don't carry around a lot of cash. Most of the time, they keep a small amount of their net worth in cash in case of an emergency. Take the most wealthy people in the world. They are so rich because they own a share of the businesses they have built. Their wealth grows as their businesses do. So even if you only have a few thousand dollars, you can still make money by using one of the tips we've talked about. Well, that's basically the 5 ways rich people make money with inflation. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, then you will probably learn a lot more from watching this other video. 5 Dumb Things That Poor Parents Teach Their Kids 
If you click on the screen right now, you can go and watch that. Do you want to learn more about how to thrive wisely? What videos would you want to watch next? Feel free to comment down below. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos on how to thrive wisely. Till next time.